Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna show you all the locations for the butterflies here in Hogwarts Legacy. There's 15 butterfly locations total, 14 of which are found scattered throughout the world, one of which is completed by doing a side quest. So we'll start by saying the side quest is the best place to start. Uh, it's been said in many articles that you have to complete this side quest first to be able to find the other butterfly locations. However, in my experience, that is not the case. So I don't wanna say with 100% certainty that you have to do this side quest first, but I would highly recommend it. So the side quest is called Follow the Butterflies by a girl named Clementine Willardsey. She is located in Hogsmeade in the Three Broomsticks Bar or pub she is downstairs on the first floor now if you do not find her in the three broomsticks this probably means that you haven't progressed enough through the main story if you just unlocked hogsmeade you're probably not going to have many side quests in here but if you work your way through the main story and check back in hogsmeade you'll start to notice more side quests start popping up I will say I don't know exactly which mission, if there's a mission at all that makes her spawn or if it's just time in game, but I do not have a whole lot of time on this account, so it shouldn't take you too long to get her to spawn in here as it's a fairly easy side quest. I don't really need to give you guys a tutorial on this. Essentially, she sends you to the woods, you find the butterflies, it shows you exactly where to go, and then you just follow the butterflies until it gives you a chest in the ground. So this is the first butterfly location. All right, so to get the next 14, we're actually gonna start from the very top of the map and we're gonna go all the way up here to the top and on the left side here, you're gonna find a fast travel called Pit Upon Ford. We are going to use that fast travel. If you don't have it, go to one nearby and head this direction. You can unlock this for future use and then it'll be really easy to find your next butterfly. Once you spawn in, you guys are gonna see that you spawn in on a path. We're gonna to wanna to head east, which is up this hill. So I'm gonna hop on my broomstick to make this a little bit quicker. And right as we go up this path, you guys will see our first butterfly location is right up here on the left as it'll appear on our mini map. And once you get close, you'll see the butterflies and you can follow them to your first treasure. For our second location, we're gonna head southwest. And as we go into the Forbidden Forest, you guys will see that we have a fast travel that's over here on the western side of the forest called Jackdaw's Tomb. You're gonna wanna fast travel to this Jackdaw's Tomb. And once you get here, you guys will see that we're right next to a pond, a small little pond. We're gonna hop on our broomstick and we're gonna fly east directly over top of the pond. And once you get to the other side, you can then use your Revelio spell facing this way. And you guys will see the butterfly pops up directly in front of us. So we can fly right towards this butterfly as it's right off this main path here. And you can keep hitting Revelio. It'll keep popping up on your map. And as you guys can see, now that we're here, we just got to follow the butterflies. For our third location, we're going to head right back over to the Jackdaw's Tomb Fast Travel. And as you guys can see, I've already placed on a marker over here on our left, but there's a little stream that comes down the side of the map over here. We're going to want to put down a marker right here on the top of the stream, and we're going to head that direction from this Fast Travel. So as you guys can see, we're just going to turn around and go kind of up this little mountain thing here and just head towards the marker that you placed down. Because as you head this direction, once you get close, you guys can use the Revelio spell and you guys will start to see Revelio. that the butterfly will spawn. It is located right here in front of me. I'm not close enough yet. There it is. So as you head this way upstream, you guys will see that the butterfly is located right here on the left side of the path and you can follow these butterflies. For our fourth location, we're actually gonna head over to the East Hogsmeade Valley Fast Travel that's located on the Eastern side of your map. And once you use this fast travel, as you guys can see right below it, we have a small body of water right here. We're gonna wanna put down a marker just to the right of that small body of water and we're gonna head that direction. So jump on your broomstick after you hit the fast travel and we're going to go right toward the marker that we just placed down. And once we get close enough to the marker, we can then use Revelio and see exactly where our butterflies are going to be. So as I'm here, I'm 50 meters out. I'm going to use Revelio. And you guys can see directly in front of us up this hill is where our butterfly location is going to be. Now for our fourth location, we're actually going to head west of the Hogwarts Castle. There is a fast travel up here called the Moon Calf Den. You guys can see it's just northwest of the Quidditch pitch here. And the location of these butterflies is going to be right here on top of this little hill just west of the Quidditch pitch. So you can put down yourself a little marker on this little mountainside here. And once you head to this Moon Calf Den of fast travel, we can hop on our broomstick and head towards that purple mark that we placed. Now once you get over here... After enjoying the wonderful view, you can then start using your Revelio spell to see exactly where those butterflies are going to spawn at. And as you guys can see, they are right here in front of this giant rock formation. So you can fly right over here 
and follow these butterflies. Now for our next location, we're gonna head over to Aaronshire, which is located on the eastern side of your map, just east of the castle across the water. And you guys will see that fortunately, we do have a fast travel up here. So go ahead and use that Aaronshire fast travel. And as you guys can see, we have the town located right here. I've placed a marker just south of the town uh, so that we can head that direction. So once using that fast travel, turn around and head south. And as you head right out of the town in the southern direction, you guys can use Revelio and see that our butterfly location is going to be right here in this open little field. So we can come right over here and follow our butterflies. Now for our next butterfly location, we're going to continue heading south. As you guys can see, just south of the lake here, we have another fast travel called the Central Hogwarts Valley. We are going to take this fast travel. And as you guys can see, I placed a marker just east of this fast travel. Right around this location is where our next butterflies are going to be. So we'll take the fast travel. Now, once you spawn in at this fast travel, we're just going to go right outside. Hop on our broomstick and you guys can see the marker that we placed down just east. And as we head toward that marker, we can use our Revelio spell and you guys will see that our butterflies are located on the ground right here in front of us by all these trees. For our next location, we're going to head even more south into this town that's located down here called Keen Bridge. And once you're down here, there is a fast travel that we're going to take. But before you take the fast travel, you can see that I've already placed on a marker. You want to put a waypoint down just west of this town. Now, it doesn't have to be entirely accurate, but our butterfly is going to be located right out here just west of the town. So after taking the fast travel, you guys will spawn looking in the right direction. And all you have to do is head toward the purple marker that you placed. You're going to fly over some fields, and right when you get to the edge of this tree line, you guys can use your Revelio spell, and you guys will see directly in front of us, on the other side of these trees, is our butterfly location. For our next location, we're going to head east of Keen Bridge, and as you guys can see just southeast here, we're going to have another fast travel down here called the Mind's Eye. You're going to want to take this fast travel, and once you're here, as you guys can see, I've already placed up north a little marker. There's a small little creek that runs up the side of the mountain here. We're going to place down our marker right next to this creek, just above this little patch of trees here. And once you fast travel, jump on your broomstick. You're going to head directly north here towards that marker that you placed. And once you get close to that marker, as always, just use your Revelio spell, and you guys will be able to see exactly where that butterfly is located. So it's going to be right down here by the edge of the creek on these rocks. And then all you got to do is follow these guys. For our next location, we're going to go all the way west over here to this side of this giant mountain. And we're going to have a fast travel over here called North Feldcroft. So you're going to fast travel here. And as you guys can see, I've already placed a marker from this fast travel. There's going to be a main path that goes all the way down this direction. And in front of these ruins right here is where our butterfly location is going to be. So again, from the North Feldcroft fast travel, you're going to spawn in. You'll just follow this path down toward your purple marker. And as you get close again, you can then use your Revelio spell to find exactly uh, the positioning of these butterflies. So we're going to work our way down this mountain. And as we get down over here, we're about 100 meters out. I'm going to go ahead and use Revelio. And as you guys can see, our butterflies are actually located right on top of this hill right here. We can jump off and follow these guys around. For our next location, we're actually going to head south of Feldcroft. And as you guys can see down here, we have a fast travel called the Feldcroft Catacomb. Take that fast travel. And as you guys can see, I've already placed a marker just southeast of this is going to be where our next butterfly location is. You put down a marker towards this uh, U-shaped structure on the top of this mountain. But as we use this fast travel, we can jump on our broomstick, head toward our marker, which is only 140 meters away. And as we go over this main cliff here, you guys will see a smaller section right here that our butterfly is going to be located at. So we can head down here and start these butterflies. Our next location is going to be on the bottom half of the map toward the Poitier Coast. As you guys know, you have to go through the mine to get over to this location. And once you get over here, you'll find the first butterfly location pretty quickly as we want to use the Poitier Castle fast travel. And you guys can see I've already put down a marker just north of this castle. As you guys can see, we kind of have a little path that goes Goes up the side of this mountain near this Merlin trowel. If you head that direction after using the fast travel, only 150 meters out, you can then use your Revelio spell and see that the butterflies are located right in front of you along this path. Now, our next set of butterflies is actually really, really easy to find is all we really have to do is take a fast travel. So if we head south from the last butterflies, you guys will see that we have fast travel here called uh, the South Point Seer Coast Fast Travel. Once taking that fast travel, you'll be in this hut. As soon as you leave the hut, you guys can see the butterflies are literally located right outside. 
they're just flying around right here so if you walk up to them They'll start moving around. You can follow them and knock these out pretty quickly. Now to get to our final butterfly location, we're going to want to head to this most southern point of the map down here by the Klagmar coast. And as you guys can see, we are currently standing on the Klagmar castle of fast travel. This is going to be the quickest way to get to this last butterfly. And we're actually going to head northwest. So right here at the very top, before you get to this big body of water here, we're going to end up having a medium bandit camp that's up here. Our butterfly location is going to be right at the entrance to that bandit camp. So again, you'll want to come down here and make sure that you're using this Klagmar Castle fast travel. And once you're there, all you have to do is hop on your broomstick and head towards the marker that you placed down. You can pretty much see the bandit camp from here. But once we get over here, I'll show you exactly where to go. All right. So now that we're approaching this bandit camp, you guys can see our marker here. And if we use Revelio, our butterflies are going to be located literally right here next to my marker on the way up. So they'll spawn in right here and you can follow them around and complete your last butterfly location. But this is how to find all the butterfly locations here in Hogwarts Legacy. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave them all down in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video.